Good afternoon. Welcome to finals day in the Yonex All England Championships, the most prestigious open badminton tournament in the world. Five finals to be decided this afternoon, and we'll be going to concentrate in particular on three of them. Now, in the men's doubles, we've got Mike uh, Tregett and Martin Jew of England, beaten finalists here last year, against the winners in 1981, Herianto and Cartono of Indonesia. Then it's the battle of the badminton uh, heavyweights, really, for the men's singles title between Liam Sui King of Indonesia in his seventh final and Morton Frost of Denmark, champion in 1982. And the last one we expect to see in this afternoon's programme is the All English Affair, that's in the mixed doubles, between the number one seeds Martin Jew, again, and Gillian Jilks, and Nigel Tier and Gillian Gowers. And the other two finals are the women's singles and doubles. In the singles, it's the two Chinese, the world champion, Li Ling Wei, against Han Hai Ping, and the doubles is China against Korea. The world champions, Lin Ying and Wu Dixie, playing Miss Kim and Miss Yu. But first on court, and we'll be going out there uh, to see that match very shortly, is the men's doubles. And with me to uh, look ahead to that is the former England number one, Ray Stevens. Ray, very important afternoon because we haven't won England an All England men's title since the war, which is an amazing fact. Uh, it's what's quite the chance, great, David? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's the chances this afternoon of putting that right then? I think there's a great chance. Uh, Martin and Mike really look confident and relaxed out there on the court. I think that uh, they will win today. They, they seem to have had quite a comfortable passage, really, to the final, don't they? No they do. The, their only other problem was against another Indonesian pair. Um, but I think they've got the game to break up the Indonesians. They'll um, not play a pace game against them. I think they'll be looking to break up the pace and uh, not play the Indonesian type of game of a very flat, fast attacking game. Fine. Well, we've got uh, this is their game against uh, the Sidex in the semi final. Tell me about the styles. Well, you saw Martin there. He's taking the pace off. And, that's uh, Martin at the back. Yes, that's right. And you'll see they break up the game. Martin again taking the pace off and they change the pace of the game. Mike, Mike there taking the pace off. And uh, it's a, a very uncomfortable style for the Asians because they like a rat attack game, or an all pace game. And they force the error out of the uh, opponents there by keeping the rally going. Right, the opponents uh, today, Herianto and uh, Cartono, they've been playing well. They've put out the reigning champions, Carlson mm -hmm. and Kilstrom. They've put out the world champions in the semi finals. They uh, can't be too bad at all. No, they're a class pair, but I think Mike and Martin will beat them. They beat them last year in the Thomas Cup, which was held in England and I expect them to beat them today. I really am confident that England are going to win today and they're going to have the crowd behind them. I think it's going to be great for English badminton. Well, we have uh, shots here of that semi-final, Cartono and Herianto. They're on the near side. Uh, tell me about them. Well, they're, they're playing the, their favourite style here. They love to attack. And uh, there you see the fast flat game um, they were really at home with. And uh, if they attack and they can get into that fast flat game, um, they'd be a very hard pair to beat. But I don't expect Mike and Martin to go along that road with them. They've got to vary the, uh, the pace. direction. I, I the think pace. you'll see lots of drops going into the middle, lots of shuttles going into the middle of the court, and uh, lots of uh, uh, very skillful shots just past, just past the players. And deception. Fine. Ray, thanks very much. We'll talk to you later. But now let's go uh, outside into the arena for this men's doubles final of the 1984 All England Championship. And while I uh, nib up to the commentary box, I'll put you in the hands of from one former England number one to another, Derek Talbot. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a near capacity audience here, and everyone is sitting, hoping that the English pair, Mike Tredgett and Martin Chew, can win this title. I've been coming here for more than 15 years and haven't managed to see an English pair win the men's doubles, but I do feel that today we've got great chances. There's Mike Tredgett in, the f in view now, and he really is the man who is likely to control the tactics and pace of this game. He prefers being at the front of the court and dominates the game from this position, and his partner, Martin Jew, he is a boy who can smash hard and he can also take the pace off the shuttlecock which will break the game up and prevent the Indonesians from playing their fast, furious style of play which they are so good at. They have many stroke variations but their tactics are much simpler than the English boys and they 
really will prefer hard rallies, plenty of smashing, and not really capable of matching the English pairs with their superior Good tactics afternoon, and gentlemen. soft shuttle play. This is the gentleman's doubles final There we have the Cartono with the shuttlecock practicing his uh, service. Rudy Perianto and, and his Harry partner, Carrianto. He's quite a power horse at the back of the court. And on my left, Martin Jew and Mike Tregent of England. to receive first game level play. Thank you very much, Derek. Great atmosphere in the Wembley Arena here this afternoon. Can England take their first men's title in this uh, so prestigious championship since the war? One club. It's Mike Tregett trying for the fourth time to win a men's doubles final here. One love, second server. Fault. Service fault call. Service fault call there for a double action. Service over at love, one. Harry Anto seems a bit puzzled. Just to point out at this uh, early stage, anyone watching who isn't uh, absolutely sure of the rules of badminton, it's the best of three games, which make up one match, and it's the first to 15 points in each of the three games. Two, one, second server. Martin Jew with a serve and the Englishman leading 2 1. Oh. 3 1, second serve. Well judged, Mike Trudgett. There's Mike at his best, that's where he likes to be. And that's what we want to see, him knocking them off from the tape. Yep. Nice variation from Cartono. I'm happy with the start. The one thing that worried me was the fact that the Indonesian pair might get off to a, a real flyer, but they've settled into it, the English pair. And although there's nothing in it at this stage, Four, I two, feel with an early seven. start that's so even, the English boys must have a good chance. Tregett has certainly tried hard enough. He's been trying to win this title for 15 years now. Perianto <laughs> finding the gap. It looks simple, Three, but um, that backhand serves quite a tricky one it seems to spin over the top of the tape and it's difficult to return 
And another service fault call there on uh, Harianto. Service over five. Seems uh, very upset, but oh, it is for a double action. Excuse me, yesterday no fault. Yesterday, lovely. The line judge there who uh, called the fault, unmoved. Yes, there's no expression on the service judge's face, but uh, I think he's probably right. Double action. Six, four. Perianto changing uh, the racket there. You see this so often in uh, Badminton. We've seen it so often during the week. The uh, racket's often changed. Just going back to that service, by the way, it's um, very uh, strict ruling in badminton that it has to be a smooth action. You cannot Six, four, go seven, to seven. hit the shuttle and then stop and go again. It has to be one movement or it's a fault. Service over four, six. Things really are superb on the attack. Five, six. English pair must try to not lift the shuttlecock very often. Six, four. What? Six, all, second server. Perianto uh, trying to make sure there's no problem this time on the serve. Oh. Seven, six, second serve. The Indonesians are uh, taking the lead. Oh. Service over, six, seven. But fine judgment by Trejit gives the Englishman the serve back, and uh, in badminton, oh. the serve absolutely serve crucial. Yeah, me. Mike Tretchett's now been called Six, for seven, service fault. Seven, Racket seven. head higher than the hand. Oh, that's an example of the brilliance of Martin Q. Seven all, second seven. So the Englishmen lose the serve, and uh, the serve absolutely yep. crucial because you can't score in badminton unless you have it. That's Eight true, and I think that uh, the serves and the runs of serves here are very vital. In the previous games, Mike Tredgett's had so many runs of service that they've really coasted through their matches, and if he can do that here, I'm sure, then the title will be his. Eight, seven, second, seven. Ah! Ah! Nine, seven, second, seven. of play by the uh, Ten, Indonesians, seven, Mike Tredgett trying just too hard to push that one down. Eight, 
10. Hold him here, Martin. He certainly looks quite calm at the moment. I'm sure there's a few butterflies floating around his stomach somewhere. Serve severely punished. Service over 10 8. And the Indonesians back with the serve, and certainly in the last few moments uh, they've been using their serves to much greater effect, but not there. 10 8, second serve. Sono really is uh, dominating the net at the moment. He certainly is, and the English boys are not doing what we'd hoped. They're not controlling the pace of the game. They're not introducing sufficient uh, shuttles of a soft pace. And they're drawn into this heavy, fast attacking game. First point in five serves from Mike Tredgett and how the Englishman needed it. Ten, thirteen. Nevertheless, it's great badminton and still very close. It's interesting to see the pairs move from the front and back attacking positions to the side-by-side -side defensive positions throughout the rallies. 10, 13, second server. It's up to Martin Jew to hold his service now. Yep. Pull back the three-point deficit. Oh. Service over, 13, 10. So Herianto serving for this first game. Yeah. Mike Tredgett saves one game point, but there's still another. Two game points saved. They now have the serve and they must take advantage of it. But that's one gone. 10, 14 seconds. So, like the way they're lifting so easily straight away in that rally, Mike Tredgett lifted the shuttle and giving away the attack. That's better. Be giving them some of their medicine. 11 14 and second serve. Indonesia 15 11 and really that was not 
the Tregit and Jew we've come to know, and certainly not the Tregit and Jew we've seen in the earlier rounds of this week. It's true, but nevertheless, it's only the first game, and uh, if the two boys can get together, talk it out, and work out a sensible tactic for this next game, then uh, they're still in with a chance. So far, they haven't been able to counter the very severe attack of the Indonesians. It is incredible in the game of badminton just how two games can be so different. We've seen that so often in the last few days at Wembley. How uh, one side can run away with one game and the other side run away with the other. But uh, certainly a bad start for the English pair. And they must now win this game to stay in the match. This big crowd at Wembley now trying to lift the Englishman. One up. That's a sample of what we want to see. Mike Tredgett finishing off from the net. Martin Jew creating the openings from the back of the court. Love. Oh, indecision between the two Englishmen there. Second server. Both left it to each other, and in the end, a wasted point. Situations such as those, they've got to try and stop the shuttle, keep it flat, not give them a chance of another smash. frame of the racket but uh, yeah. it doesn't matter how they come at this stage Martin continuing to try and powerhouse his way through the defense I really feel he must take the pace off the shuttle occasionally and do some slice smashes and drops. The variations, the thing that might be them. Well, that's uh, a gift from Perianto. And that's in. Two, one, second, seven. getting it together at the moment. Two more. change from the defense to the attack Three, two, from the Indonesian seven. pair. So we expected the Englishmen to be varying the pace. It's the uh, Indonesians that are doing it at the moment. Four, two, second, seven.
service over to four. Mike Tridgett now, 34, been trying for so long to win this title. the variation we were talking ball, about ball. Second serve. certainly is you see the Indonesians are well back in court they're expecting the hard return and when the shuttlecock floats in front of them with the pace off it it's difficult for them to control it back and again it worked five four second serve perhaps this will give them the confidence they need certainly look a little tense at the moment. Service over, four or five. Arianto and Cartono, winners here in 1981. Four or five, second seven. And Harianto said thank you very much with that one. Six five second server. Service over five six. Broken again. Pardon to Mike Tredgett, two left-handers. Quite unusual to see that. Yet they combine so well. Six all, second serve. Tredgett has the experience, can he use it? Winner of Commonwealth European titles, but so far the All England men's doubles has eluded him. Six Mike Tredgett is a three times winner of the mixed doubles title here, but he said before the match, I would uh, give two of those away just for one men's doubles title. Seven and six, second server. Six, seven, second, seven. 
just isn't the control of return from Tredgett or Dew at the moment. They're just really popping them up at the net, giving away very easy chances for their position. Another one. Anything so so with any height sticks. is being uh, severely punished by the Indonesians. It's true, of course, at times they have to lift the shuttlecock, but uh, in doing so, they should try and lift it right to the back of the court, give themselves as much time as possible to pick out the attacking shot. It's good. Eight, six, second server. Cartona leaving that more in hope than judgment, I think. really are in uh, disarray. Yeah. That's better, Martin. He's taking his time more into just one drop shot into that repertoire of smashes. Help for Sierra. I really don't know how they're so close on score because they haven't got it together at all yet. teams uh, the Indonesians so quick oh they're lifting far too Ten often six, now seven, seven. can't see them turning it round Tredgett and Martin Jew, considering their plight. And again, the crowd trying to lift the English spirit. Service over, 6 11. Which has uh, seemed to be very low in the last few points. Come on, mate, let's see a run of service. Done it before. Hasn't got the look. Six, to eleven, second server. Defensive. They've got to think of means of getting on the attack. The Indonesians are just too powerful overhead and so very quick around the court. I think that one was off the frame, but again, the uh, soft shot was the winner. Martin 
Sanju trying the disguise there, 13, looking to six, smash and then just trying seven. to drop it short, but the accuracy not there. A little bit of indecision there for Mike Tredgett. But he got away with it. Martin Jew service over, six, giving the service back. In the last three English serves from both players, he not won them a point. Brilliant smash. It's well placed down the centre of the court, landing just inside the baseline. They're lifting all the time. Service over, 13 6. That's four opportunities now on serve. The English pair have had to increase their score and they've failed to do so on every occasion. They've been on six for a very long time. So we come on Herianto's serve to match point. And one saved. 14-6, second server. Cartono still serving for the All England title. Top. There it is, what disappointment for Martin Jew and Mike Tredgett. The fourth time that Mike has tried to win the men's doubles title here at Wembley, and once again he's failed. Rudy Herianto and Cartono winning surprisingly comfortable, really. 15-11, 15-6. And really, we didn't expect the Englishman to go there we have them this year's all england men's doubles champions cartono out in front and rudy harianto his partner and the english crowd giving them the applause they deserve of this year's championship to represent 